So this is the unit on root finding. There are two basic methods that we can use for root finding. The first of these is called bisection, and the other is open methods. First, let's take a look at bisection. Let me scroll down here a bit. All right, so bisection. The word bisect actually means to to cut in half, as you may well know. And so let's let's just start off with some uh, hypothetical function. Let's put an axis in here, and let's start off with a function. Let's say it looks something like like this. Okay, let's say it looks something like this. And you'll see um, this function is interesting because it has more than one root. But uh, when we, uh, when we do bisection, it uh, requires us to bracket as it's a bracketing method. It requires us, before we start, to bracket the root that we want to find. So uh, let's say we want to find uh, this root here. And so we're going to bracket that starting here and going to here. Let's say that's our bracket. And uh, the first thing you want to do before you start with this method is you just want to double check and make sure that you've actually bracketed the root. And you can know that you've bracketed the root because if you evaluate the function, whatever your function is, and of course this function we'll just call it f of x, okay, if you evaluate your function and this evaluates to be positive and this evaluates to be negative, then you know that you've bracketed at least one root. Okay, so the next thing that we do is we chop the interval in half. So let's say um, uh, let's say this is this is the the halfway point, and uh, then what we do is we evaluate the function at this point here and we look to see if it's positive or negative. This happens to be positive. Because it's positive, then we establish a new bracket. Our new bracket goes between this point and our negative point. Now, see, these were both positive, so we throw this out. We say, okay, we got a new positive point that's closer, and then this other point that's negative. So our new bracket is here. The next step we do is we then go ahead and cut that section in half, and who knows, it's going to be somewhere in here. All right, and we evaluate the function at that point, which if we come down here and evaluate the function, then we're going to see that it turns out to be negative. Okay, and since the function is negative, then we have our new bracket, and our new bracket lies between this point and our positive point here. So this is our new bracket uh, along the axis here. And then we go through the same process again and again until the size of the bracket, which hopefully we'll, we'll always um, we'll continue bracketing the root, and the size of the bracket is, as soon as that is small enough, then we end our iterations.